hello everyone so today we will be creating a chart which will be just like a calendar and it is called as a calendar chart this chart will be giving us the visualization that on the uh, any day of the any day of a year for a uh, month which day will be we are getting a profit which day will be getting a loss and will be very easy to visualize with the help of a calendar chart and it is just like a calendar to see so we will be learning that how we can create this type of a chart in tableau today for creating a uh, calendar chart, first of all, I'm giving a sheet name as a calendar chart. <coughs> My data set is global superstore. That is the same uh, data set over which we earlier we are also working. Uh, left side, we have a dimensions and measures. The dimensions are the discrete elements and the measures are the continuous element. Now, uh, before going further to calendar chart, uh, first of all, what we need to do is we need to see the actual calendar from our keyboard, from our uh, laptop, uh, computer. From my computer, we can see in a calendar the x axis. This is my x axis. The x axis is taken as the week days, and y axis is always one week, week two, week three, week four, week five. So it is telling me the week numbers and it is week days. And on the, on the elements, on the uh, these fields, we are getting the days. So for these type, this type of a same type of a calendar, we need to create with our data. Uh, so as you know that weekdays and week uh, each and everything week numbers are getting from the field name as order date So uh, what, whatever we will be creating will be done with the help of an order date only So what I am doing is I am picking my order date and as we have seen here my x-axis x-axis my column should be Should be Weekdays, so it is Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday this is my weekdays and then we need to keep weekday order date over rows that is my y axis and it should be number week number so it will be coming like this then at my calendar you can see at a time it is showing me only a data for one month of one year so by default this is for you can see week 1 to week 53 which means it is a data of the full year so what I need to do is I need to keep order date over filters and I am selecting the year it will be showing me that which year I want to see. I am seeing apply only 2012 and I am showing 2012 filter. And then I need to see only one month. Again, I am filtering it with month and then I am selecting January apply. Okay. So now we can see only five weeks are coming in it. So it means it is a data of only one month. Now I am also showing it this in a filter. But while selecting always, what we need is um, first of all, we will be selecting the year then we'll be selecting the month and i'm making it to the single value list and i'm also making it to a single value list so that i can see at a time one month data of one particular year now make it entire view so that it will be clearly visualized and these abcs should be filled by the week it will be filled by the day numbers so day numbers will be filled by track order date and keep it over text but it is year so we need to convert it right click over it and convert it day so it will be converting to day you can see that the wheel values are very less so you can click on the text and uh, you can go to the text and change its font size for font size you can select it and you can make it 12 bold apply and if you still it is not fine now it should be telling me now this also date of which month it is giving you the data so again i am uh, keeping my order date over text and i will be converting to month now it is telling me that it is our first january month and this data is like this 2012 for january month the graph uh, the calendar is like this and you can see for february 2012 that, that is our leap year and our 29 days so you can also see for March it is for 31 days, April and similarly for 2013, 2014. Now we can be checking it whether the dates are coming at the correct place or not or it is giving some wrong date. So I am going to 2015 which is near to my uh, current year. So 2015 April. Uh, so when I am going to 2015. So when I'm going to 2015 on April, we'll be seeing uh, that whether it is correct or not. 
so it is you can see on 2000 wednesday that's the first date and here also wednesday it's the first and 30th it is thursday and 30th it is thursday. so it means that is totally correct the dates that we are getting from our calendar fine but this is not the task we are basically we have created a calendar and it is fine to see a calendar but this calendar will be showing you various type of information and what are the insights we'll be getting from it we'll be seeing now so what i'm doing is i'm keeping picking profit and keep it over color and i'm converting it to scare so now that's this is my visualization which i'm actually getting it and what it will be telling me is see this i want to know that in 2012 and january which day we have getting loss so on 26th feb january and 29th january 30 january 11 january 8 january we are getting the loss as the mine the, the orange color will be showing me the minus profit which is a loss and blue color will be showing me the profit so it means the day the as as blue as it is it will be showing me the more profit as orange as it is it will be showing me the more loss so on january 2012 26 will be the more loss now if someone will be asking me that what is about 2015 june which day we have getting the loss in 2015 june so the day was 25th june so see how how uh, uh, finding the insight and how finding whether the day was a loss or it's a profit it was so easy by using the calendar chart hence this is a calendar chart and using it will be a great level of fun uh, for find like this i am finding from october 2015 10th october and 1st october was in loss whereas other days were in profit now you can also be seeing see other thing that in uh, 2012 in february in march that some of the days are missing these are the days when there is no sales and we don't have a data for these days that is why it is not showing me any entry so this was my calendar chart thanks and for seeing the video